Millions of people have been affected by the recent floods in Pakistan, in the Sindh province, while many others have been internally displaced in the hilly north of the country, in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province, and the federally administered tribal areas due to security operations against non-state actors in the region. According to the UNHCR, an estimated one million civilians have been displaced by these operations in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and Fata. Similarly, in the south, where floods over the past four years have continued to cause serious damage to the lives and properties of the inhabitants of Sindh. 21 million people were affected in 2010, 5.8 million in 2011, 5.3 million in 2012, and 1.4 million people were affected in 2013. Situation in both provinces was made even worse due to an acute shortage of basic necessities and required quick and massive efforts for the provision of basic but crucial amenities to the people, including the old, women and children. Oxfam with its partners, Lesuna in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and prepared in Sindh, has been implementing the European Commission's Humanitarian Aid Department, ECO-funded project, Humanitarian Assistance to Floods and Conflict-Affected Communities in Pakistan. To avoid health and other hazards, under this project, internally displaced people from Fata and flood-affected people in Sindh are being assisted through health and hygiene awareness campaigns, as well as by construction of safe drinking water facilities, bathrooms and latrines. In a baseline conducted prior to Oxfam's interventions in Phase 7 and 8 of IDP camps in Jalozai, 28% of the respondents confirmed that physical access to water had become a serious problem because of irregular water trucking schedule. 54% area was not provided with proper drainage facilities. 33% sites were not provided with separate latrines for men and women. This situation has improved as a result of the interventions designed specifically to address the needs of the affected people. <laughs> خو مخکې د لټرونه یا په حساب کې څو به کمې زیاتې مخکې به په ګاډیو کې راتلې موږ ته وبه نو تقریبا لکه چې نن حالات په موږ باندې دی نو داسې موږ ته ښکاري لکه چې موږ خپل کور کې وو موږ ته ډېر یعنې په ښه مقدار سره هر یو شی معاهده کېږي او موږ ته رارسېږي موږ ډېر خوشحاله یو ان شاء الله د لاسونو والا نم او پلاس د اکسپایم والا نم فور واټر سینیټیشن اند هایجین نیډز انسټلیشن اف پایپ نیټورک for provision of safe water and hygiene promotion interventions have been implemented. One of the continuing challenges being faced by Oxfam and its partners is the engagement of women. Due to lack of privacy and extremely conservative cultural barriers, women have been unable to leave their tents even for latrine and bathing. It was very difficult for them because it, uh, culture, due to cultural problems, they are not coming out. And the reason was the same that their male are not allowed. It was very big challenge for my team. We were uh, sitting with them for one hour, two hour sessions. We communicate this thing that you should use. It is good for your health. And it is exactly for this reason that a boundary wall around the water and sanitation facilities for women is being actively advocated by Oxfam and its partners. The previous non-functional latrines have been replaced with new ones through standard decommissioning process and formation of WASH committees. We have selected some committee members, those who are giving session in our absence. If you are not going to their tents, because we cannot go there every day, but they are going by themselves and teaching them. Even the new females coming from Bara, and they are not caring for this. So all female and specifically committee members are going to their tents and giving them the session in our absence. This is a very good success for us. <laughs> Hi, 
Specially designed latrines have also been constructed for the extremely vulnerable group of people. Mass hygiene campaigns have been conducted to educate the people about possible health hazards and their preventions. Now there is a well supportive environment available for them and similarly uh, they have adopted good practices regarding hygiene and the hospital data shows that the diseases trend situation of phase 7 and phase 8 is very less as compared to other phases. A significant portion of the awareness campaign focuses on children as they not only adopt good hygiene practices themselves but also influence other family members. Therefore, various fun ways have been adopted for the sessions, with the most interesting being the snake and ladder game. <laughs> Similarly, magic shows also include dissemination of information on health and hygiene to children in an easy to remember manner. The <laughs> In the South, similar efforts have been continuously made to ease the sufferings of the flood-affected people of Kashmir in Sindh. In the assessments carried out by Oxfam and its partners, it was found that over 90% of drinking water sources in Kashmir were chemically and biologically contaminated. The majority of domestic and community sanitation facilities were damaged and open defecation was widely practiced. Women have been acutely affected due to bad sanitation conditions. The situation gets compounded by the poor health and hygiene practices resulting in diseases like diarrhea, leishmaniasis, measles and malaria. Through the project, communities are being provided with safe water, sanitation and hygiene awareness sessions. Today, female has personal hygiene, domestic and information. They can keep their own clean and clean. They can keep their own clean and clean. They didn't know about hygiene before. They didn't know about hygiene before. They didn't know about hygiene training. They didn't know about awareness. The activities include installation and repair of hand pumps, provision of latrines, solid waste management campaigns, and role plays. Be it!
Conditions nevertheless still demand our serious attention. And people of Sindh, Khabar Pakhtunkhwa and Fatah are in need of support through resources and provision of facilities which Oxfam and its partners through ECHO funding continue to provide. In the long run, however, all stakeholders must come together to plan a future course of action which systematically avoids, where possible, all such calamities from recurring and rapidly responds to the unavoidable disasters so that human lives in peace, joy and happiness continue to thrive on our planet.